the organ that destroys our bodies rather than helping it function. Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-058, Heart of Darkness. Before I begin, if you're enjoying these narrations, then please consider liking the video and maybe subscribe. With that out of the way, let's begin. Item number SCP-058 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-058 is to be kept in isolation in a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter containment chamber at all times. Walls are to be constructed of 3 meter or 10 feet of reinforced heat resistant steel, backed with a further 10 meters or 33 feet of reinforced concrete. SCP-058 is to be fed a live cow every three days. Maintenance is to be conducted every 60 minutes while SCP-058 is dormant and every 15 minutes when SCP-058 is active. Under no circumstances is SCP-058 to be allowed out of its containment area. SCP-058 is to be audio recorded at all times. No personnel are to listen to SCP-058 for more than 30 minutes at a time. In case of escape, facility is to be considered compromised and detonation of on-site nuclear weaponry is to commence. To date, SCP-058 has been responsible for the death of at least 149 Class D personnel and 14 agents at its current site. Description: SCP-058 resembles a bovine heart with four arthropod-like legs used primarily for movement and four tentacles of adjustable length covered with razor-sharp spines. It has a single sharp stinger on its rear where the hole for the superior vena cava would be in a typical organ. SCP-058's tentacles can be whipped to a distance of 3.2 meters at speeds in excess of 320 kilometers per hour. SCP-058 is extremely hostile and will use every opportunity afforded to it to inflict damage on its surroundings. SCP-058 has been shown to be highly resilient to trauma and should be approached with caution even when apparently incapacitated. SCP-058 is highly mobile and capable of rapid movement on both horizontal and vertical surfaces. It has been recorded reaching a speed of approximately 90 km per hour or 55 miles per hour in short bursts, covering distances up to 200 meters or 656 feet, and has the ability to accelerate from 0 to 90 km per hour or 55 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds. It has been shown to use its tentacles for increased leverage and stability, as well as utilizing them to pull itself to other surfaces at high speeds. SCP-058 speaks in a human voice, though no method of producing sound has been observed in its physiology. It speaks with vocal tone and accent of an elderly British male with a slight lisp and a deep voice. SCP-058 talks constantly, regardless of conditions. Even when attacking, SCP-058's voice and pace of speech are unchanged. The speech of SCP-058 lacks any detectable correlation to events persons, or exterior locations involved with SCP-058. See transcript of Interview 058-4. Notes SCP-058 was first encountered at Site A as it came out of Data Expunged. SCP-058 was extremely hostile and appeared to be very agitated. Initially, SCP-058 attacked Site A, which resulted in the death of faculty and agents. SCP-058 went on to attack the nearby town of <laughs> resulting in the death of over redacted citizens and the destruction of 70% of the surrounding buildings. Post-breach analysis determined a majority of the deaths are attributed to fire and fire-related injuries, resulting from a widespread of stinger fluid by SCP-058 from a large structure. This is also blamed for a majority of structural damage by SCP-058 account for only 8% of total deaths, with major evidence data expunged. SCP-058 was finally contained after being crushed and incapacitated by a large amount of masonry from a building that had collapsed on top of it. SCP-058 was then extracted and transported to by agents and MTF teams. 
SCP-058 was contained at for three weeks, during which it made minimal attempts to move, attributed both to physical damage and bloating from during the initial breach incident. Testing during this period was limited, with SCP-058 still maintaining a high threat level even in its impaired state. SCP-058 breached containment on during an attempted transfer to an SCP containment site, causing multiple deaths and injuries. SCP-058 was eventually incapacitated by Agent who managed to subdue SCP-058 by running it over with an M1 tank, pinning it beneath the armored vehicle. SCP-058 was subsequently secured and transported to Armed Biocontainment Area 14. Addendum The SCP-1175 containment team has observed significant agitation in SCP-1175-2 on a number of dates that coincide with prolonged breaches of SCP-058's containment. Additionally, Personnel assigned to AI-2471GH2's maintenance have reported inexplicable heart palpitations during similar timeframes. Investigation into possible connections is pending RAZA approval. Interview between Dr. Johnston, SCP-058, and D-Class Personnel D-067 Begin Log I had dreams of the Queen Wonders that lived inside the hearts of love and silent treatments of all the elderly that I knew were once whole. What is your name? I seek the revelations of all that the Holy told to the unwise in the dreams of cold embers and sunlight that fade across lakes of black blood and snakes that could eat the loaves of children from lamb trees in autumn. What is your name? The suffering is the woe of ignorant men who never lack to seek the depth of their own hearts and only see the wealth of the poor world suffering to flay its own back in knife wounds of silver and brutal gladness. Where are you? The from. nightmare is a dream to the nameless slug that wanders across minefield and the remains of deer and This caves. is some creepy D067 cuts off into screaming. That sort through the bile of newborn plagues, instant warmth as a mother's milk and the dreams D067 continues in screaming. Seconds, the sun is beating. Let him go. And all hearts eat the D067 screaming the is cut short abruptly. Is all the assurance you will ever need to know the worth of life. End log. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.